morning and welcome to Tiger News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Friday, October 21st, 2022. It is day one. Today for lunch we will have Big Daddy's Pizza, Side Salad, and a Friday treat. Today's birthday is Kentorius Cooper in second grade and, and kindergarten and Shiloh Harden in second grade. Tomorrow will be Lily Flores in second grade. Happy birthday. We hope you have a tiger of the day. Thank you of those who come came out and enjoyed an evening of math night and the book fair. Kindergarten will be at Pumpkin Paradise today. Safe travels and have fun. Welcome, Miss Brock. All right, last day of book fair. Here is our Friday book fair bingo. I'll send those out in just a minute. Several bingos yesterday, so hope we get some more today. Remember, teachers? Once you get that bingo, send your card up with your name on it, maybe a sticky note to let me know what book your class wants, and I'll take care of that and get it back to you. Um, the book fair will be closed today between 12.45 and 1.30. Um, I will be outside with CDC today with Ms. Reed's class. We won't be able to go up to the book fair, so we will not, uh, you won't be able to shop during that section of time. Um, but teachers, if you have students who have brought money today, if you wouldn't mind, the earlier in the day sending them up, the better for me, just so I can start to kind of tear that down, maybe close to the end of the day. Um, so be thinking about that. And teachers, if you've got a spare minute and you want to come and shop, please come and do that today also. Thank you so much for supporting the book fair. Welcome, Miss Blue. All right. We have some special giveaways. Slide this back this way. From math night last night and I want to give a huge shout out to those who attended last night we actually had 45 families last count was 45 families uh, who came to the book fair so we um, had a great time got to take some pictures and got to enjoy some some math last night so I have some kiddos here that I want to bring up and Kaysen, come on up here with me. Weston, and I'm gonna assume one of you is McKenna. Are one of these McKenna? No, they're not mine. They're not McKenna? Okay, <laughs> I was looking for McKenna. There were some little sweet little girls in here. I'm like, oh, they're not McKenna. Okay, so I will start out with these two. Last night, for those of you who went to the book fair, we actually had uh, a $10 gift card giveaway. And remind me, Miss Thornberry, of the, little, of the little girl's name who won the, do you remember the little girl's name who won the $10 gift card? We've all drawn a blank. We're not sure. But anyway, we had someone who won a $10 gift card to the, to the book fair. Also, we gave away estimation, we had estimation stations in the library. So the kids tried to, to take their best guess on how much candy there was. So I have two of my winners. My other two winners aren't here today, but I'll get it to them or they haven't come upstairs yet. So Kaysen here won. Kaysen, let's see. You get this big, oh, 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 oh. We're going to hold it on bottom. I think I probably opened it up. Maybe Miss Strongberry will help you after it's over. You won the suckers. He guessed suckers. He guessed that um, actually there were 32 and he guessed 30. So he got the closest. So you get suckers. Good job, Casey. Weston did the gummy bears. No, not gummy bears. Gummy worms. Sorry, these are gummy worms. You got the gummy worms. And there were actually 201, and Weston guessed 
200. So you get a whole bucket of worms. Yay for Weston. We also had two other mem uh, winners, McKenna in pre-K, and I'll get this to you, McKenna. You get the gummy bears. There were 216 gummy bears, and she guessed 210. Then we had a, a bucket of, ch of, of chocolate, which, you know, is right up my alley. I'm all, all about that chocolate. Bronson in second grade, there was 157 pieces of chocolate, and he guessed 145. So he got the closest on the chocolate. So I think we had a blast. Did y'all have fun last night? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did y'all get your picture taken with your family? Yes. Yeah, they got to take pictures. So we had a good time last night. So we will do this again. We will have an arts night in December, and then we will have a reading night in April. So um, try to get your families to come out and, and enjoy the fun. We, we have a good time. All right, so I'm going to let you guys stay up here and sign off with us. Thanks, Thanks for, for listening. listening. Have,